begin to close down the eyes and just start to notice how the body feels today in this very moment as we come onto our mat every day is different and if you have any niggles or injuries at the moment just be super super mindful as we practice today it's going to be a mindful moving meditation and so we're going to just start by taking a scan of our body all the way from our toes Noticing how the knees, the thighs feel. Noticing any compression, tightness in the hips. Moving into the lower back. Up the spine through to ribcage, belly. Really sense the breath coming in and if you need to, you're always welcome to take the hands onto the ribcage onto the belly, just feel your breath, feel that movement. If you're struggling to send the breath down into the lower abdomen, sometimes that helps to have that sensation, the rise and fall against the hand. Shoulders relaxing down as we give them a scan. Notice how the neck feels, perhaps just move from side to side. Forearms, elbows, wrists and fingertips. Tracing all the way back up the arms to the neck and into the back of the head. Notice if there's any tension in the forehead, eye sockets, cheeks, your jaw. Try not to hold on, purse the lips, just gently. Nod your chin in towards your chest. And then when you're ready, begin to float both palms to face upwards, a sign of giving, but also receiving the practice today. If you have a devotion for your practice, perhaps a purpose or an intention for today, and start to draw that into your mind's eye now. going to work with a four-part healing breath, working through the thumb, touching each of the four fingers in turn, taking four inhalations and then working our way back through the fingers with four exhalations, connecting our breath with our body and our mind. Inhale through the nose, full breath in, and exhale, sigh out of the nose or out of your mouth. When you're ready, inhale through the nose for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale. Belly drawing in. Inhale. Filling all the way up into your lower abdomen, into your chest, and exhaling for four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last two rounds. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back into Chi Mudra, inhale through the nose, deep breath. Long and slow. Exhale, release your breath. 
Bowing chin into chest. Inhale, draw your thumbs all the way through to heart centre. Again, come back to your intention, your purpose for the class today. Start the eyelids to open and look down at your fingertips. Inhale, take the arms all the way up and overhead. Reach, reach, reach. On your exhale, take the hands behind you, lace your fingertips, drop the thumbs to the very nape of the neck and draw your belly in, round through your spine, draw your elbows together. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, open all the way up through chest and heart. From there, you're going to cactus the arms and take them lovely and wide, elbows coming forwards, wrists coming back. Inhale, bring the arms all the way back up and overhead. Exhale, take a spinal twist. So you're going to drop that right hand over to the left, so mirroring. Left fingertips behind you, draw the belly in and gaze behind. Really work through those hands to twist you through your centre, through your midline. Holding there. Inhale, take the arms all the way back up and overhead. Exhale, take your twists across through to the other side. Left fingertips holding onto that right knee. Right side, drawing the belly in, gaze is down. Inhaling, exhale. Inhale, arms sweep all the way back up and overhead. Exhale, take your twist back through to that left hand side. Fingertips wrapping around and this time you're going to release your fingertips. So you're going to take the twist but without that passive stretch where you're having to hold on to something. This time we're actively moving ourselves through our torso, our lower back, our thoracic spine holding. Inhale, take the arms all the way back up and overhead and we'll move across to the other side. Left hand, holding to start with just so you gain the twist, you gain those millimetres. And on your exhale, release the hands and see if you can hold the twist. Make sure the neck is staying relaxed. Shoulders are in their place, dropping, dropping down. And inhale, take the arms all the way up. On your exhale, you're going to lace the hands behind you. Try and take the opposite lace this time. Exhale, round, chin to the chest, draw the elbows in. On the inhale, open back up. Exhale, hold. Inhale, trident, cactus the arms once again. And exhale, lower the fingertips all the way down to the left. From there, you're going to lift the legs up straight out in front of you and really ground down through the four corners of your feet. You can still sit on the block here as well, that's all good. On the inhale, take the arms all the way up. On the exhale, drop those knees together and slide them off to the side as you take that right elbow towards the left knee, coming into that TP twist. Drawing the belly in, again, we're active through the fingertips here. Holding, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, both arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, take your twist all the way through to the opposite side. Left elbow, fingertips wrapping around, perhaps feeling a little bit more stretched down the legs now. And again, observe, notice what's going on. Notice how you feel, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, arms come up. And on your exhale, bow yourself forwards, round through the spine. Take hold of the legs, drop the head between. Nice and round. Just take a moment in this posture or this little movement to notice where you feel the stretch, what's going on. So really observe, where am I holding on? Where do I feel tension? Where do I feel compression? And on your inhale, roll up through the spine, roll the shoulders back. Okay, we're going to move on from there. So moving yourself around, I'm just going to keep sorting out my mat today. And then from there, just moving that block to the side and have your other blocks handy. I've obviously got a few there laid out, but otherwise you're going to come onto the fingertips. Knees underneath the hips, curl the toes under. Let's just take some cat and cow. Exhaling, rounding through the back, belly draws in. Inhale, release the spine, let the hips fly upwards and the belly drop down to the mat, the eyes of the elbows roll forwards, first finger pointing forwards, chin tucked onto the chest. Exhale, rounding back through into your cat stretch and inhale, come forwards into your cow. Halfway between the two. Stretch that right leg behind you, 
tent the fingertips on the left hand side and then you're just going to rock forwards and back forwards and back working through the toes and really pressing into the top of the ball of the foot so you get the stretch through your calf muscle and your achilles inhaling exhale from there slide keeping the tented fingers on the left side just sliding them underneath the shoulder inhale lift through the right leg dropping that right hip down you can always release the top of the left foot as well flexing or pointing the foot stay strong and if it feels good you walk those left fingertips back out and perhaps even stretch them nice and long the neck and the head stay balanced inhale here exhale elbow to the knee round the spine inhale open up nice and long drop in the hip exhale elbow to the knee inhale open up on that exhale from there you're going to slide the hand down slide the knee in take them lovely and wide drop yourself back through into a child's pose forehead to the mat if it feels good you come up onto the fingertips drop the hips as low as you can and again notice where you feel this we can sometimes come into child's pose and just feel like we turn off we switch off but in child's pose today in every pose i want you to really focus on where do i feel this what's going on what's talking to me in my body on the inhale rise and come back up onto all fours we're going to stay on that side knees wide here big toes come to touch so it was the left hand that went forward so we're going to work through that left hand making a fist fist into the elbow inhale begin to open all the way up holding there on the exhale inhale open through the fingertips and exhale draw the hand back down now on that first go notice how it felt in this right shoulder do you feel like you need that block underneath to lift yourself higher so try it this time with the block and feel how it, see how it feels elbow towards the crease or sorry your fist towards the crease of the elbow inhale take that rotation oh i can get further this time inhale come all the way up exhale draw the hand down last one inhale open exhale to hold inhale lift and on this exhale as we sweep the hand all the way down we're going to bend through that right elbow drop onto the shot the elbow of the left side shuffle the block over just enough to take the head down onto the side Tenting the fingertips of the right hand or taking the right arm forwards, perhaps even dropping it onto your lower back into that twist. Again, work with what feels good here. Breathing in, breathing out. There's always lots of options in this thread the knees little pose. Work with what feels good to open up through the shoulders, open up through your thoracic spine. Inhaling and exhale slide the right hand back underneath inhale lift yourself all the way back up and drop yourself back through into a child's pose this time if you'd like use the block to move away from you and to lower the chest and the heart through as the hands stay a little bit further elevated so getting underneath the armpits in the stretch inhaling and exhale on the inhale we rise we plant down through the fingertips once again just moving the block forwards from there the knees walking a tiny bit more and we're going to stretch back through that left leg dropping the left hip down moving the right hand forwards as well and then we're going to move through fingertips on the right side we're going to have a stretch through that left wrist and then we're going to rock ourselves back back and forwards back and forth back and forth really pressing through the calf muscle once we've got so far come up onto the ten finger, fingertips of the right hand lift through that left leg dropping the left hip down and then from there you can always walk the right fingertips out and you can even stretch them forwards holding there breathing in and exhale elbow towards the knee inhale lift lengthen through the spine lengthen through the left leg exhale like a cat stretch draw the belly in inhale lift and exhale lower the right hand down to the mat from there slide the left knee in and then we're going to work through that right hand knees nice and wide big toes come to touch again 
If you want to, we start the first one just on the hand, lifting up and out of the shoulder. Fist all the way in towards the left elbow. Inhale, take your rotation round. See if you can draw that elbow back. Inhale, reach through the fingertips of the right hand. And exhale, circle that hand all the way round and down. This time, try with a block if you have one available. Lift yourself up and out of that left shoulder. Inhale, rotate. Exhale to hold. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. And exhale, draw the hand all the way down. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale to hold. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. And on this exhale, we take that right hand all the way underneath. Sliding the block across, tenting the fingertips on the left side. Taking the side of the head near the ear down onto the block. Drawing the belly in. And then again, playing around with those left fingertips. Do you walk them out ahead of you? Do you place them onto your lower back? Do you wrap around? And where do you feel the stretch? Big toes still touching. Notice what you need. Keep the breath working for you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Breathing in. And breathing out. Press firmly down through the left fingertips. Slide the right arm all the way back through. Plant down through the hands. Moving the blocks forwards out ahead of you this time. And we'll palm to the fingertips. Round through the back. From there, you're going to curl the toes under. Keep gazing at the belly button. Lift the hips all the way back up and down into your down face dog. Gazes between the thighs. Release the head, the shoulders, the neck. Inhale. Exhale. Biceps wrapping forwards here. Fingertips pressing firmly down. Breathing in. Breathing out. From there, you're going to bend through the knees. If you can lift your tailbone even higher. Here, it doesn't matter about the heels being touching or staying on the balls of our feet. Breathing in, breathing out. On the inhale, look between the space in your hands, lower down onto the knees. From there, come up onto the fingertips and slide that right foot forwards. Blocks either side. From there, nice and steady through the front foot. Take a moment if you need to, you uncurl that back toe. On the inhale, you're going to take the arms all the way up and overhead. Coming into low crescent lunge and Jana Asana. On that exhale, you're going to cactus those arms. Inhale, lift the arms all the way back up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift them up. And exhale, cactus the arms. Elbows forwards, wrists coming back. Inhale, lift back up. And on your exhale, you're going to slide that left hand to the outside of the right knee. Right hand is going to come onto your lower back and you're going to hold in this little twist, revolved, low lunge. Breathing in, pressing firmly down through the top of the foot of the back leg, through the four corners of your right foot. Inhale, exhale. Right hand slides behind you if it feels good to do so. Breathing in, breathing out. Spreading the right toes wide, inhale. Exhale. On your next inhalation, begin to draw that right arm all the way past your right thigh. Inhale, take both arms up. Perhaps you lower a little bit further, deepen the pose this time in your Anjana Asana. And on the exhale, you're going to drop both hands down to the blocks. As you do that, you're going to slide that right foot back just enough. You're welcome to turn the blocks onto their second height. And you're going to come into an overreaching lizard lunge. So see if you can keep your heel on the mat. Imagine the chest almost like a cow pose opening through or like an up dog. Cobra. So you're being a little bit more extensive through the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Trying to keep that heel down and feeling the stretch. Notice where else you feel tightness, hips, any compression. Breathing in. Breathing out. On the inhale, rock yourself up. Come up onto the blocks a little bit higher. Walk them back with you and come into your Hanuman stretch. Flexing through the top of the foot or keeping the foot down and bending through the knee. Think about the crown of the head moving forwards, the chest staying lovely and open. Breathe 
breathing in, right hip coming back, left hip moving forwards, inhale and exhale. From there walk the blocks forwards with you. This time we're going to use them for our down dog, plant through the hands, slide that right knee back, give it a helping hand if you need to. Come into your cat stretch, curl the toes under, lift up off the knees, back and down into your down dog. And if you need to, you place the heel of the hand on the very edge of the block, just to secure yourself a little bit more. Heels turning out, big toes turning in, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale, lower down onto the knees. Release the tops of the feet, take a cow stretch, let the heart, chest pull forwards, exhale neutral spine. As you work through the neutral spine, you're going to lift the blocks up onto their third height, step that left foot through, ground down through both feet, tuck the tailbone under, inhale take the arms all the way up and overhead, Anjana Asana. On the exhale, cactus those arms, inhale lift back up, exhale cactus the arms. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, lift back up. And on this exhale, sweeping that right hand across the outside of the left knee. Taking the left hand onto your lower back and smoothing the lower back down. So you're tucking the tailbone under. You're staying up nice and tall here. Belly draws in. Pressing firmly down through the top of the right foot. Four corners of the left foot. Inhaling. Exhale, inhale, exhale. If it feels good and the shoulder feels good in this posture, you can slide that left arm behind you. Keep thinking about this left leg, make sure it's not dropping in or rolling out. And use this right hand to guide it there. Inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale. On your inhale, sweep the left hand all the way past your thigh, perhaps dropping the hips just enough to come into Anjana Asana, inhaling and exhale both hands to the mat. As you do so, slide, or to your block, sorry, slide that left foot back and then work through into your calf, your Achilles. And again, you see how I have my shoulders up by my ears a little bit there. And that's okay if our arms are overhead, but mine aren't right now. So you need to draw them down and allow your chest and heart to pour through. So this side for me is much, much tighter today. I can really feel that in my calf, my Achilles. Perhaps the back leg walks behind and we just stretch out in that overreaching lizard. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. When we're ready, we lift back up. We walk the black blocks back with us. We stretch that front leg nice and long and again we add some weight into the arms and we hold there in our half Hanuman stretch. Left hip moving back in space, right hip moving forwards, chest and belly coming onto or over the thigh without rounding the back. So if you're up tall there that's all good, you stay there, perhaps the foot goes flat and you bend the knee just enough to stay into the belly of the hamstring. Holding, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Begin to walk the blocks forwards once again. Coming on to the second height, enabling you to slide the hands back, the foot back. Blocks come down. Come back through into a cat stretch. Curl the toes under. Inhale, lift yourself up. Back and down into your down face dog once again. Fingertips spreading wide on those blocks. Heels of the hands moving to the very edge. Inhaling, perhaps bending the knees when you're ready. Hips even higher, breathing in and breathing out. On your inhale, you're going to move your weight forwards, coming into a high plank pose. On your exhale, lowering down through the knees. Uncurl the tops of the feet. I'm going to take this Ashtang Namaskar pose. So, 
keeping the hands onto the blocks. It's almost like a half chaturanga or modified. We're going to lower our chest down and it should reach the block supporting us. From there, we're going to let our belly go and we're just going to draw our elbows back behind us and our hands stay on the block and we just move our gaze forwards from there. Inhale and exhale. As we exhale, we either press through the blocks or if you need to, you take your hands off either side and you lift yourself up. Hands back on the blocks, back and down through into your child's pose, forehead to the mat. Inhaling, exhale. The right hand is going to come across to the left. Left hand is going to move over. And we're going to come into a lateral child's pose. And in this pose, yes, I want you to creep forwards with the left hand, but see if you can do the same with the right. So we're working actively through both sides of the body. And then again, take that moment to pause. Take the moment to work out, where do I feel the stretch? What's happening in my body? Left hand comes back over to meet the block. Right hand back through, extended child's pose. Right hand all the way over. Imagine it was going over and over. Left hand goes over as well. Both sides of the body, I'm gonna wriggle over a little bit to get my stretch in, equal sides, inhaling, and exhale, inhale, exhale, walk the left hand back over, the right hand back over onto the blocks, inhale, rise and come all the way back up onto all fours, curl the toes under, lift yourself up, back and down into your down face dog, from there, you're going to look between the space and the hands, drop back down onto your knees, Slide that right foot back through. I'm just going to shimmy my mat a little bit. Right foot back through. Good. So we've still got the blocks that we're using either side there, and you can definitely still take that to the, um, to the left hand. From there, we're going to make a fist. And again, this time, left elbow, sorry, left fist is going to come into the right elbow. And you can again use the block either on the inside or the outside. Let's go with the inside. There. Inhale, open up, really press the arm into the inside of the knee. Exhale to hold. Inhale, lift through the arm. And this time we're going to turn the palm away and slide the hand behind us. Perhaps it comes onto the lower back or perhaps it wraps around. And of course you can come up onto the fingertips of the right hand. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Two more just like that. Inhale, lift. Open side. Exhale to hold. Perhaps turn the hand. And then roll the hand all the way behind you. Inhale, lift back up. And exhale, full arm back down again this time. So we've gone from the bended elbow. Inhale, lift the arm all the way up. Open. Exhale. Sliding the hand behind us onto the hip. Wrapping around if it feels good or staying with the lower back. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, take the hand all the way back down to the mat. From there, both hands either side of that front foot. Curl the back toe under. Take a little hover there and then inhale, both arms come all the way up and overhead into your high lunge, tucking your tailbone under. Breathing in. Breathing out, spread those right toes wide, inhale, exhale. On the next inhalation, we're going to move our hands down to our hips. And we're going to step our left foot in, she says wobbling, to our right. Coming into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Taking our hands behind us, lacing the hands or onto the lower back. Inhale, open up through chest and heart. Exhale, come back, neutral spine, Tadasana. Inhale, arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, devotion down to the mat, forward fold. Hands on your blocks if you would like to. Down to the mat, down to your toes or to the backs of the ankles. Inhale, hands on the blocks or your shins for your halfway lift, gazing. And exhale, lower down. As you lower down, from there, you're going to slide that right leg behind you. 
lower down onto the knee. Drop the blocks down onto their lowest height if it feels good. And then from there, you're gonna slide that left arm to the inside of the knee. Making a fist on the right side, the fist is gonna come right up into the elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale to hold. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. And on your exhale, turn the hand and place the hand either onto your lower back or wrapping all the way around to hold onto the hip. Inhale, lift back through. Exhale, rotate the arm all the way back down to the mat. This time, full rotation all the way around. Inhale. Exhale, turn the hand and slide behind you. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale, open, full slide. Exhale, slide the hand behind you, palm facing away. Take a hold, roll the elbow back. Roll the shoulder back, breathing in, breathing out, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift the arm all the way back up to the heavens, exhale, slide that right arm all the way back down to the mat. Taking a moment there, how do the hips feel? Take the blocks either side of the front foot, curl the toe under of that back, right leg, Lift up, take a moment to balance there, and then inhale, take both arms all the way up and overhead. Present lunge. Again, we're gonna work through on the inhale, slide those hands down by the hips, and lift that right leg in to meet the left. Open up through chest and heart. Exhale, come back to Dasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, lift all the way back up. Exhale, take your forward fold. Hands to the ankles, the Achilles back to the legs. Perhaps to your block or to the mat. Inhale as your halfway lift, gazing pose. Exhale, lower. This time on the inhale, you're going to bend your knees. Take your hands onto your hips. Elbows draw back and you're just going to hover there. Into a variation, a modified version of chair pose. If you want to take the arms all the way up, you're very welcome to. The hips move backwards. Breathing in, breathing out. From there, we're gonna come onto the toes of the left foot and ground down through the right foot. Slide the left leg behind you nice and long. And again, arrive into your high lunge, holding here. Inhaling, reach. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, lift. And on your exhale, move your hands all the way onto your hips. Inhale, slide the hands behind you. Exhale, take a little forward fold, hovering. Almost variation of our humble warrior, so we're not lowering all the way down with the arms overhead. We're just keeping them to the hips. Inhale, lift back up. And on your exhale, drop that left heel down to the mat. Take a glance at the back foot, make sure it's parallel with the short edge of your mat. And then from there, you're gonna turn with your hands, your hips around to face that left side of your room. From there, inhale, take the left arm all the way up. In line with your shoulder. Energy through those fingertips. Bend through the front knee and then start to move your gaze, your drishti forwards. As you do so and you turn the head around, you move that right knee out so you can see your big toe and lift through the right arm. Warrior two. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. On the inhale, left hand comes down onto the back of the thigh, right arm reaches up to the heavens, turning the palm away, peaceful warrior. Inhale here, exhale, return through warrior two, bending at the elbow, dropping right elbow onto the left knee, and reach up through the left arm, coming into your extended, if you want to take the arm over, or side angle variation of your choice. You can keep gazing up towards those left fingertips so you move your gaze down towards the right big toe. But be really conscious that your legs are working for your here. You're lifting through the inner feet, which lifts into your inner thigh and your belly. Breathing in and breathing out. 
Inhale, return all the way back up through warrior two. And exhale, ground and get deeper. On the inhale, turn the palms to face up. Straighten through the front leg. And on your exhale, you're going to imagine someone holding onto your right fingertips, moving you forward as that left hip comes back. And exhaling, taking the right hand onto the back of the right shin. Softening through the knee if it feels good and you can take that left hand up to the heavens. So a variation of our Trikonasana pose, we're trying to really extend through the body. And if it feels good, we can take that hand again, sweep it across our chest to move our left shoulder back and lift through those left fingertips again. Keeping a bend through that front right knee. Inhale. Exhale. On the inhale, arrive and come all the way back up through warrior two. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale here, bending through the front knee. Exhale, both hands to the blocks either side of you. From there, you're gonna step that left foot in, shortening your side and moving that right foot to the very edge of your block. Inhale, hands onto the hips. Exhale to hold. Moving your hips round to face the very centre of the mat now. Right knee bends, left leg straightens. Keep bending through and then inhale, take both arms all the way up and overhead into our warrior one. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come through to heart centre. When you're ready, you're going to bend through that right knee, come up onto the back toe and step that left foot in to come into equals pose, Samus Tahiti. Inhale, open all the way up through the arms. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift through the arms. Exhale, devotion, forward fold down to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on your blocks or on your shins. Exhale, lower. As you lower, you're gonna soften through the knees once again. Send your hips backwards. Take the arms forwards, out to head, up over the head or opposite elbow, or again, onto the hips and draw your elbows back. Totally up to you where you go with the arm position today. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. When you're ready, you're gonna balance onto the left leg, rise onto the right toes and take a long stride back with the right leg. Hips pointing forwards. Inhale, take the arms all the way up and overhead. Keep bending through that left knee. A little bend through the right knee as well, tucking the tailbone under. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and on the exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift, straighten both legs as much as you can. And on your exhale, take both hands down to the hips. As you take your hips, your hands to your hips, from there, you're going to draw your elbows back, open a little bit more, and on the exhale, bow forwards. As you bow forwards, coming into a variation of our humble warrior. Inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep squeezing those elbows back. Inhale, rise. On your exhale, lower your right heel down to the mat. Checking that it's parallel with the top, uh, the back edge. Turning your hips round. So both hands onto the hips. Turn them round to face the right edge of your room now. Working through that back foot, so lifting through your inner thigh. On the inhale, take the right arm all the way up. In line with your shoulders. Holding there. On your next inhalation, as you move your drishti round, you're going to draw that left knee up so you can see your big toe and then lift through the left arm, holding there. With your breath, perhaps you move in and out of the pose, deepening as you go, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, 
and exhale. On your next inhalation, right hand onto the back of the thigh. Inhale, lift through the left arm, coming into Peaceful Warrior. Breathing in, bending through the left knee. Exhale, return through Warrior Two. As you come into Warrior Two, you drop the left elbow onto the left knee. The right arm comes in line with that left shoulder. One long straight line, gazing up, using that left elbow to turn the knee open. And you're welcome if you're feeling a little bit tight in your body today. You can always use the hand as well. Breathing in, breathing out. On the inhale, you return back through into your warrior two. Turning the palms to face up and straightening through that front leg on the inhale. On the exhale, imagine someone holding to those fingertips and reaching you forwards. Right hip moving back, left hip moving in. Lowering the left hand onto the outside of the shin, keeping the knee soft and lifting through that right arm. So a modified variation of Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Breathing in. You can always set the hand onto the hip and move out if it feels good or wrap the hand around. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On the inhale, rise and come back up, warrior two. Bend through the front knee. On the exhale, cartwheel both hands either side of the front foot. From there, you're going to step that right foot in, shorten your stride. Walk that left foot out so it's really snug against the block so you've got space for your hips. And then from there, I'm going to draw both hands onto the hips. Line them up so they're parallel. Straighten through the back leg, bend through the right knee, front left knee, sorry. And inhale, take the arms all the way up and overhead. Coming in into your warrior one. Firmly pressing into the back heel. Spreading the toes wide of the left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And on your exhale, both hands onto the hip. Ground down through that front left foot. And step your right foot to meet your left. Hands lace behind or taking hold onto your lower back. Inhale, open up through chest and heart. And exhale, return. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, devotion down to the mat, forward fold. Inhale as you're halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. On the exhale, keep hold of the blocks, perhaps lowering them onto the second height as you bend through the knees. Step back with the right leg. Step back with the left leg. Lower onto the knees. Perhaps even now lowering onto the lower level of the blocks. We're going to take that Chaturanga version. So releasing the tops of the feet. Tucking your tailbone under. Bending through the elbows as they hug in. Allowing the chest to come onto those blocks or the shoulders to come onto those blocks. And then peeling our heart and chest through as we roll those shoulders back into their place. Inhale here. And exhale lower. As we lower, we're just going to move one of the blocks forwards and then slide the other block behind us, dropping our forehead down to the mat. On your next inhalation, you're gonna lift the block just a centimetre off your thighs. On the exhalation, you're gonna imagine that you're pulling that block apart and you're gonna lift through the nose, carving through the nose and try to move that block down your legs. Breathing in. Breathing out, inhale, exhale lower. Shoulders dropping down, releasing through the spine. We're gonna take two more of Shambhasana, Locust Pose. And this time perhaps you add on the legs. Inhale, lift, arms and the block rise, holding. Inhale, carve through the nose and try and move the blocks down the legs as you try to pull us apart. And perhaps this time the legs come to try and reach the block, pointing the toes, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, lower all the way down. Release the shoulders down, perhaps just take a moment to release the block. Move the head to the side, breathing in and breathing out. Hands back onto the block. Inhale, lift, exhale, hold. Inhale, carve through the nose. 
move the block away from you. Imagine pulling apart and then from there lift the legs as well. Keep the neck nice and long, gazes forwards and down, forwards and down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Point it through the toes, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and exhale, lower all the way down. Release the block to the side. Hands underneath the shoulders. Lift yourself up. Back and down through child's pose. In this child's pose, if you take that block from there, we're going to come into an Anjali Mudra child's pose. Taking our elbows either onto that first height of the block and dropping our head between. Thumbs coming down onto the base of the neck. You can take your knees how wide you like here. Inhaling. Exhale. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Release the hands. Take a moment perhaps even just to come into a child's pose, more restorative variation. Allow the shoulders to roll forwards. And again, again here, just check into how you feel, what's going on. Begin to roll up through the spine, vertebra by vertebra. You're going to take that block behind you, come to sit on the block. Work your legs around. In fact, we're going to have both blocks, so I'm just going to reach for that one now. Take a Paschimottanasana, our forward folds. So we're going to start to wind things down now in some seated postures, some inversions, and then finish with a restorative pose. So rather than sitting tall on this block, moving the flesh from our bottom and allowing our knees to drop inwards with a little bit of pressure on those knees, we're going to take the second block underneath onto our hamstrings, flexing, so away from the knee joint itself, flexing the feet, Inhale, take the arms all the way up and overhead and exhale, fold the belly onto the thighs. And perhaps you just stay there so the back stays nice and long. There's no need to pull on the legs here and try and reach and round the back. Just stay looking long and forward, the chin slightly tucked into the chest, just enough to keep the neck nice and long. And you're welcome to close down the eyes. Turn your gaze inwards, and this again is a really nice point to notice what's going on in the body. Where am I holding on? Keep those feet flexed. Keep this active. Where do I feel the stretch? Where can I move and breathe deeper? Where can I let go of? On your inhale, plant down through your hands halfway. And on your exhale, come all the way up. From there, we're going to keep the right leg nice and long. And we're going to bend the left knee, dropping our toes underneath. And I'm going to take that other block now just for my knee on this side. You don't have to. You can always have it down if it drops onto the mat there as well. And that's all good. So from there, keeping... That right foot nice and flex and not allowing the ankle to roll in or to roll out. From there, we're going to take the right hand onto the inside of that thigh and it can even be your elbow and your, your hand can move across or perhaps it just comes down onto the mat. El hand onto the back of the head. Elbow bends in on the inhale. You're going to open all the way up. See how far you can get that elbow just as we have done. Keep flexing those right toes. Inhale, lengthen through the arm if it feels good. Hold there. Breathing in, breathing out, inhale, exhale. Perhaps you slide the hand behind you when it comes onto your lower back or you wrap around more like a bind or if it feels good you take the hand over and you begin to stay open but you begin to take the arm overhead and you feel the stretch more into your side body. Inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, bring the right arm up to meet the left. 
and turn your body round to face that right leg. On your exhale, dive yourself back forwards, keeping a nice flat back. Hands either side or taking hold again underneath and coming into your Jani Shirsasana stretch. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, roll up through the back, vertebra by vertebra. And then from there, rather than switching sides straight away, you're going to draw both feet together. Continue to sit on the block if it feels good to do so. And we're creating from there this open, this book opening shape with our feet. So we're going to lace our hands underneath if you're able to, and we're going to use the thumbs to open up the feet like a book. So the soles of the feet begin to open and then the knees begin to drop wider. And we're going to press, open up our chest. The chest draws through, the belly draws in. Close down the eyes. And return to your breath. If you want to, on the inhale, you can lift the knees. and On the exhale, you can draw the knees down. So a little bit of a butterfly, flutter action. Inhale. Exhale. Knees draw down, inhale, they lift. Exhale, they draw down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. Release the knees. Hands underneath them, draw them back through. And then from there, the left leg goes nice and long. The right leg comes in. And again, use your block on the other side if you need to, to support the knee. Move the flesh from your bottom. Left hand this time, left elbow onto the inside. The hand can plant down. So you might be able to see from my back, this time is a little bit better as we take the elbow down on that right hand side. The hand laces behind the head. Inhale, open up. See how far you can get that elbow back. Keep flexing those left toes before you reach the arm up. And you can continue to look up towards those right fingertips. Or you can look down towards those left toes. Feel the stretch through your side body. I'm trying to keep space through that left side. Inhale. Exhale. Perhaps you wrap the hand around you onto your lower back. Or all the way through. Breathing in, breathing out, inhale, exhale. On the inhale, you keep the right arm up and you press through the left fingertips and the left hand rises to meet your right. From there, moving your body over that left leg, so there's a little rotation here. Exhale, take your forward fold, Janushyasana. Hands down to the mat or onto the leg, but make sure again you're not really dragging yourself down. You're staying active, those left toes are staying active. Breathing in here, breathing out, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rise and come up. Exhale all the way. This time, I'm just going to shimmy round. So you're going to draw your feet back in. Don't worry too much about how close the feet are towards your uh, pelvis. You're going to lace the hands underneath or take hold of the ankles. Inhale, open all the way up through chest and heart. Exhale, we're going to round through the spine this time. Taking... The aim really is for our head to try and reach down towards our feet. But if you're up here and you place the forearms down or even higher, that's all good. Allow the back to round a little bit more restorative now. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Take a moment to notice what's going on. Where do you feel the stretch? Why am I holding on? 
Notice the tightness. And perhaps now, where do I feel some release? What's a little bit more open now from when it was at the start of class? On your inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, come all the way up. Hands underneath the thighs, the knees, draw them together. From there, you're just going to move one block to either side of you. You're going to plant the feet down, ground down through the four corners, tuck your tailbone under and then slowly lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Nice and slow control. As you arrive, just walk the feet in. Take a moment there just to settle. Tuck the tailbone under just a little bit. And then from there, you're going to draw the left knee in towards your chest and then extend that left leg all the way up. Holding there. It's this hamstring stretch. And you can always lower the right leg down as well if it feels good and extend the arms a little bit higher. But make sure those shoulders are staying down. If you have a strap or a towel, you can definitely work with that now. Inhale. And exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, work that knee out to the side. And on your exhale, you're gonna to start to move that left knee over to your right hand side, being mindful that you can move the block so it meets the knee and you have those different heights of the block. Practicing the left arm. Gazes over the left shoulder and definitely extend the arms if it feels better to do so. Breathing in, breathing out, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, work the knee back through centre, move your gaze back through and then draw both knees in towards your chest. Rocking and rolling up and asana pose. Let's create circles with the knees for a moment. Massage out the sacrum, drop the left leg down, foot to the mat, right leg all the way up, keeping the hips down as much as you can so we're not trying to lift through those hips here, down they go, flex and point the foot, you can always lower that left leg down to the mat as well, holding here, breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, Exhale. Bending the right knee in. This time working for your block on the other side. Moving the hips just over to the right, just enough to take the right knee over, left side. Cactus the right arm, gazes over the right shoulder. Draw the belly in, breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Again, come back to how the body feels, the sensation. So when we try and focus on how the postures are working for us, sometimes it can move us out of our headspace, out of our mind, into our body. And then when you're ready, draw that right knee back. If you need to stay in any of these postures for a little bit longer, definitely do so. Begin to draw the knees in towards your chest, massage out the lower back. Just rock yourself up enough to be able to come into our final posture. We're going to take a variation of Saptabhada Konasana, so the bound angle legs again. But we're going to use a uh, Matsyendra supported fish pose for our upper body. So we're going to place two blocks. First block is on its highest level and the other block is on its second level. From there, we're going to take a good handprint away from our lower back, roll backwards and then move the block so it's right between our shoulder blades, supporting, and then we can move that other block, I've got my hair tied up in a funny place, right where the block should be, supporting our head. So the block, that second block down by the spine should be right between your shoulder blades. You should feel supported. Ground down through the feet, a little tuck of the tailbone if it's needed, so you can really feel your lower back. 
there should then be that space you're going to drop your feet together if you have cushions blankets you can drop them underneath those thighs to really feel supported here and then you're going to roll the shoulders towards the ears all the way down the spine and then let them feel open to open up your chest palms facing upwards close down the eyes and again if you don't have any blocks or props do not worry you can do exactly the same thing without them if you have a blanket if you have any extra layers that you need to put on definitely pop those on now and I'm going to give you the option of staying in this pose, working with some breath work to close the practice. If at any point you want to shift and move out of this restorative pose, come into your final posture of Shavasana, definitely do that. And try and stay here for as long as possible. Let all of that good stuff, all of the effort, that energy, that prana, that breath that we've taken throughout the practice today, let all of that settle in. This is the time now. If you need to, you place your hands on your belly and the elbows drop wide and you're gonna come into your breath. Breathing into your lower belly, belly rises. Exhaling. Hands draw in and the belly softens. You stay for here or here for as long as you can. If you need to move on with your day, take your hands underneath your thighs, draw your knees together, plant down through the forearms, roll over or lift yourself all the way back up. Taking blocks underneath your sitting bones again if you need to. Come to sit lovely and tall in your own time. Give the shoulders a nice roll all the way back up and down. Move your gaze to the very top edge of your mat or perhaps even close down the eyes fully. Move your thumbs to your heart space, your centre, right at your sternum, fingertips gently pressing away, Namaste Mudra. Inhale here and exhale. Thumbs to the space between your brows, inhale and exhale. Live your life to its fullest, embrace your life with passion, bowing to the divine in each and every one of you and saying thank you as always for coming onto your mat. Namaste.